Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the maps that I've been using on the Garmin Epix Pro Gen 2 51mm watch for my hiking, walking, running, cycling activities. So the watch itself does come preloaded with Garmin's Topo Active European Maps and there is options to download Garmin's Topo Active Maps for other parts of the world as well at no cost. So they're included on the watch. There is actually ski maps and you can get golf course maps as well but I'm concentrating really on the maps for hiking, hiking, cycling, trail running, um, that sort of activity um, on the watch. So the one that I'm using, just to show you which version watch I've got, it is the Epix Pro Gen 2. This is the larger of the three models available, the 51mm. It has the sapphire glass tough screen. I've got the one with the silver titanium bezel and the white stone band. So on the watch, I'll start by showing you the Topo Active European maps. In map settings, I have got it set to show the highest detail level contour lines if available and shaded relief if available and then what I'm going to do is run through some other maps that I've downloaded to the watch using a computer to put some maps from a company called Toki Toaster there'll be a link below on this YouTube video I've actually got a map that I've purchased from Garmin called Topo UK in Ireland and finally I've actually got from Garmin the Topo Great Britain Pro 1-50 Ordnance Survey Mapping. Again, it doesn't. those maps need to be put onto the device using Garmin Express on a computer is how we install them on the actual watch. So we've got a nice bright AMOLED screen on this watch, which I think really shows these maps up, off um, to what they can do and what they look like with the AMOLED screen. So with the map option, I'm just going to select maps and this is the Garmin Topo Active European map that I've got on the screen. So the little blue triangle is showing my current position. The little north pointer is in the top left and I can zoom in on the map. So I've got the button on the side here. I can zoom in using the plus button. This is showing you where we are in Northumberland. We're by the river in Northumberland. I can see places of interest. I can see a car park icon there marked. If you're in a more urban environment, you'll see lots more icons marked. You can see as I zoom out, I can actually see some street names marked as well. So I'm just going to move the map around. It is a touch screen on the watch so we can move it around using touch screen there is an option where you can set up the buttons to move around as well so i'm just going a bit more into the open countryside so it's not going to be anywhere near as detailed as an ordnance survey map for cycling it's brilliant i find it a great map for cycling when you're following a route on it you get like a line overlaid on the map so actually when you want a more simplified map in the background it is a great map um, for that sort of function where you're, you're more concentrating on following your route line as the pink line on the screen but you just want you know a smaller amount of detail in the background so i'm just going to actually hit me back button here just to take the map back to where i am i'm just going to come right back out of the map so the next map i'm going to show you is a one that's available from a company called Toki Toaster. Cost of them is around £13 currently. So that may change. Obviously, that's just as we do this video, a £13. So I'm just going into my configure maps and I'm actually going to turn off the Topo Active Europe map. And then on the list of maps that I've got installed, I'm going to go down to this Toki Toaster one. For, I've got the one for the British Isles that includes elevation data as well. So it's the TT50. British Isles DEM for digital elevation module. I downloaded it using a computer and a USB cable to transfer it onto the watch. We will put a link to the website of where you can get this map from. Other maps for other parts of the world are also available from Toki Toaster. So I've now just got this map turned on. So I'm just going to come right back out and I'll just go to the map and load it and we'll show you what looks differently. Sometimes I find when you have swapped maps over, you have to use your plus and minus to zoom in and out for it to change, but I can see this one has changed already. So I'm going to zoom in there and you can see we have got a fair bit of extra information. I can actually, let's see a little fire symbol here for the fire station, car park symbol. And again, I'm just going to zoom out and move this one a little bit further forward 
so we're going more into the countryside and up into the hills just to give you an idea so I'm just zooming out I'm actually using the buttons on the side this time to zoom out but it is touch screen so you can actually touch on the screen as well to zoom out when you get the download from Talkie Toaster they do send you a PDF that explains what the different symbols are like the red dashes here that I can see for footpaths you can see as I go up in the fields here got quite a bit of information here place names marked as well we can see contour lines with height data as well marks us just to give you a nice feel of what these maps look like there's a mountain top ravens hoff marked 130 sorry not 138 feet 1385 feet so hopefully that just gives you an idea of the map there and it's just taken it back to where i am now so again we can move it around using the touch screen and we've got the plus and minus i'll just zoom in really close to show you same as the garmin topo active map it's a digital map so as you zoom in you don't lose clarity so I'll just zoom back out so i'm just going to put this one back to where i am and then what we'll do is once that's refreshed i'm going to bring up the next style of map that's actually one that i've downloaded from garmin called the garmin topo uk and ireland map so it covers the uk and ireland so i'm just going to go back into my map settings and in the map settings just do what i did before in the map i'm actually going to go into configure maps and i'm going to go down and turn off the Toki toaster one and this time i'm going to turn on my topo uk and ireland v11 light map again i'll put a link where you can get this from on garmin's website directly you do need a computer with garmin express software to install this one so i'm just going to hit the back arrow to come out i should have mentioned with the talkie toaster maps if you're using a windows computer you can just drop it straight onto the watch uh, using a usb connection to the watch if you are using a mac you do need um, a program like android file transfer as the watch isn't recognized directly as a drive but if you're putting any of the garmin maps on like the one i'm going to show you now and the ordnance survey one you can just use garmin express on a windows or mac computer so this is garmin's own topo uk and island map again it's a nice map this is one it's very like the it's similar to the Toki toaster one this one comes in at 19.99 so it's a little bit more money than the Toki toaster one you may find it doesn't have quite the same detail when we're looking at field boundaries it does have some mark but i've noticed it hasn't got them all marked we don't quite see the same information but again it's just showing you what the options are and different maps that you can install we've got a nice big internal storage on the epix pro 51 millimeter watch so i'll give you the figures for each of these maps shortly but i've managed to install all of these onto the internal storage as you can see they're all on the watch in one go um, and i can then switch between which one i would like to see so i'm just going to zoom out on this one and just let it settle down sometimes you just got to give it a little bit to settle down when you zoom out i have got this set at the highest level detail you can lower that detail level down and you will find it'll load a bit quicker when you're trying to move a big distance ahead i've never i've not had an issue should i say when i've been out hiking walking cycling trail running with the map catching up with me it's absolutely fine this is just because i'm trying to move it a lot further ahead than where i am now and then i'm just going to zoom in just to give you an idea again we can see contour lines on here i can see luff crag i've got a fell mark there i'm just going to zoom in really close and you see it stays nice and sharp and clear when you zoom in and then i can zoom back out so i'm just going to hit the back arrow to take that one back to where i currently am so it'll go back to my current location here in rothbury and then again i can uh, zoom in so i just tap on the map and zoom in there that's just my fault there here's the zoom in again it's trying to press a couple of buttons at the same time zoom in back button takes it back to where i am so that is the garmin topo uk and island map so the final one i'm going to show you so i'll just come right back out of here and go back into the settings is the most expensive one out of all of them it's basically a, a copy of the ordnance survey 1 to 50 land ranger maps now bear in mind this is great britain so it doesn't cover northern or southern ireland it's england scotland and wales but it is 149 pound again there'll be a link below it's done as a download from garmin and you use garmin express to install it now it is what we call a raster map so you will find as i zoom in we do leave lose sorry a bit of clarity it's not as clear as the 
the Topo maps that I've showed you earlier from Talkie Toaster, Topo Active from Garmin, and the Topo UK and Ireland maps, which are vector maps. So I'm just going to go into configure maps, turn off the Topo UK and Ireland maps. I'm going to make sure the only one I've got turned on is the Topo Great Britain version 3 Pro 1 to 50 maps. So this is like our Land Ranger Ordnance Survey maps. And then I'll just come back out. I mean, I do like the Ordnance Survey maps and I love using Ordnance Survey paper maps. So I've actually found this map quite nice to have on the screen. Obviously, you can make your own decisions, have a look at what it looks like. But as I zoom in here, you'll see... I mean, don't get us wrong, I'm zoomed in really close. I don't think I'd ever zoom in as close as that, even on a handheld GPS. So if I zoom out to a sort of comfortable level, you can see the pink dashes of the footpath along the, the river here. And again, I can move this one around. We haven't got field boundaries, remember, on a Land Ranger Ordnance Survey map. So this is a copy of the Ordnance Survey map taken from Ordnance Survey. I'll just zoom out a little bit here, give you a better idea what that looks like. Just let that settle down. And again, I'm just moving around into the National Park there where I can see the boundary. But if you're familiar with Ordnance Survey maps and you do use Land Ranger maps, we can see the pink diamonds here of a long distance trail, a long distance footpath. So again, I can move that around, zoom in a little bit closer. Again, I'm zoomed in fairly close there and I'm still happy with the colours that I'm actually seeing on the screen there. I probably wouldn't normally be zoomed in quite as close, but it's just giving you an idea that it's a copy of the Ordnance Survey map, but bear in mind this is £149.99 as a download. Now when you do do the download of the two Garmin maps, the Topo Great Britain Pro 1-50 to that I'm showing you now, and the Topo UK and Ireland, the one for £19.99, please bear in mind they are locked to your watch. You can't download them to one watch and then in the future transfer it to another watch or another GPS device. So that's one thing you've got to bear in mind. If you're spending £149 on a map, it's locked to the unit. It. Topo UK and Ireland's only 1999, so that's not so bad. But the, the Topo European maps obviously come preloaded for free, other parts of the world available, and the Toki Toaster maps, you own the download, so you can keep that copy of the download and transfer it onto other units. So that's giving you an idea of the Ordnance Survey map, and I'm just going to hit the back button and that'll take it back to where I currently are. That just gives you an idea in a more urban environment. So this is where we are in Rothbury. I'll actually just move it around just so you can see what it looks like. So we have got some street names you can see marked there. So this is actually in the village stroke town that we work near. But I hope that's given you a good idea of different maps available. All of these maps I've used and liked, that's sometimes chop and change depending what I'm doing. Um, it's a hard one to make the decision um, to what you need yourself. Um, obviously, if you get the watch from us, you know you get the Topo European maps included anyway, and then you can make a decision if you want to purchase something additional from the likes of Toki Toaster or directly from Garmin. Remember, if you do purchase your watch from GPS Training, the gpstraining.co.uk website, and you get stuck with anything, we're always here to give you a hand. You get your email support. Um, if you're struggling with Garmin, normally if it's a download from Garmin, we would put you on to Garmin if it's a problem at their end. But obviously, if you're not sure about what you're doing on your watch, we can help you. Um, the guy at Talkie Toaster is great with his support, so he would give you the support. If you do buy the maps from Talkie Toaster, your support on actually the download and installing the maps would be from Talkie Toaster. But we'll put links below to all these different map options so you know where to get them from. But we hope you found this video useful. And thanks for watching.